Okay, in this movie I will explain to you with the solution of assignment 1 in our minds how to optimize parameters. So you were asked to construct an animal model of the wind signaling pathway. On canvas you could find these images. I explained in the previous movie, so the kind of part 1 of the assignment solution, um, that the wind pathway has a double negative or a double inhibition in which beta catenin is inhibited by the destruction complex and that the inhibition of the destruction complex releases beta catenin and activates the sig wind signaling pathway. Because, so if you followed the instructions of the assignment then you got this as a possible solution. So let's uh, go look a little bit closer at how to optimize parameters. So in this video I'm going to highlight two methods for optimizing parameters. The first one is to rescale the k-factor. So I put this slide in with the different steps, but I'm going to show you a, a video in which I explain these steps. So in this video you first start off Cytoscape. I always get all kinds of warnings and, uh, and things, but that's okay. Um, takes a little bit on my computer to open Cytoscape. At least allows you to see which versions I'm using. Okay, so in my Cytoscope uh, interface, I choose to open my model. And then the first thing you need to do is you have to run the model. And it's not so important that you, uh, how long you run it for, but I chose 400 minutes. Okay, I always change the title of my uh, results, because if you run many, many simulations, then it's hard to keep track of uh, which you're running. And with the slider, you can go through the timing and go to the peak of the ERC. And what I want to do now is I want to move that peak over. Uh, so the maximum is now at around 90 minutes, but in the assignment it said it should be at around 60 minutes. So you can select all the interactions either by clicking on every single one of them while pressing shift, like I do here, or by select all and then uh, going to the interaction. Okay, so you click on an interaction and then choose NMO and rescale K factors. And then now I rescaled by 90 divided by 60 is 1.33333. And then it rescaled all my factors. I run the model again. And to see if anything changes, I'm going to compare the previous data with these using the difference with button. And this allows me to see, if I go to that data set, here the name is rescale 1.3 minus the 400. So I can tell that there's a slight difference in the ERC, in the time of timing of the ERC activation and a little bit of the amplitude. Okay. So the second option is to optimize using your wet lab data. And again, here I highlight the steps, so you can go back to that if you need to. Uh, and I will show you a video of what I did. So you first open your network again. You then run a simulation. And I always get an, an error message when I run a simulation, but you can just ignore it because it still works. 
Um, again, I did 400 minutes. And what I see now is that I want to optimize my network, including DKK1. So I have to right click and then enable DKK1, because it's part of my network. And I want to set the starting uh, activity around 25. So I changed the network, so I really need to uh, do a new simulation. And now in the simulation, I want to compare these data with the data in my uh, wet lab file. So what I first want to make sure is that all the data that I want to change, all the nodes that I want to optimize, are plotted in my graph. So if they are not, then you can do that by uh, enabling them in the, uh, in, the, in the node, in the network. Okay, so I want to first check my CSV file. So I'm going to open my file in Excel and make sure that the CSV file contains the exact same names as the names of the nodes in the network. So I notice here that Betacat has the capitals uh, different from how I put it in my network. So I have to check that, change that uh, because it is uh, capital sensitive. And also I have to make sure that the time in the first column is in minutes. So I changed Betacat and SOX. Uh, ERC and TCF1 were correct. Okay, so I saved my data, move it out of the way. Now I right click in the graph and add data from CSV. So you then find the uh, changed file again. open it and now it will open the data in my graph. So I can immediately see that it's not the same, but I also see that the time of my run was very different. So it makes it hard to compare. So I'm first going to do another simulation for 1440 minutes, the same as my wet lab data, and then import my data again in this new graph by right clicking on one of the lines. Okay, so now I can see that the trend is kind of the same, um, but the values are very different. So I have an indication that the topology is similar, but, uh, uh, but it needs to be optimized. So I now select all and then click on one of the interactions, animal optimize k values. And this allows me to choose my CSV file and it will immediately start running. And this may take a while depending on the number of interactions that you have, want to uh, modify um, and how well the topology of your uh, data is, of your network is. So after a certain amount of time, it will tell you how long it took and ask you if you want to keep your parameters. So I say yes. And at this point, I always save a new version of my model. Okay, so and after I've done that, I want to run my simulation again with my optimized uh, k values. Oh, this was the previous one, I'm going to ignore that. So I'm going to analyze the network again. And then in my new data set, you can see it's very changed. You can slide through the data and see how it changes the network. And then you can right click on one of the lines again, add data from CSV, import your data file again, 
and now you can compare it. And what you see is that even though it's not perfect, it's much better than what it was. And so then you get to make the choices whether or not you optimize your parameters a little further to, for example, uh, show this peak activity or that you want to continue like it is. Okay, so what you want to remember is that it's always possible to only optimize part of the interactions. And if the optimization takes too long, your topology is probably not correct. And you have to look at that again. So hopefully this helps and uh, good luck.